Keisha and welcome back to the painting video and as you can see by the title today we're gonna be doing a landscape painting and I'm putting a picture on the screen and I'll also be linking it down below so you guys can see what I got inspired from but yeah I've wanted to paint this for a while now I've been really getting in the mood of painting different landscape and nature so that's what I'm gonna be doing so yeah I just feel like I want to fill my schedule with a bunch of landscape and nature painting so anyway let me start with the rambling and let's get started with the painting process This time I didn't want to draw anything beforehand before I started painting I just kind of wanted to freehand this <laughs> which is what I'm doing and just kind of start out by blocks of color and then build up details with that I've been trying to experience different ways of painting and composing stuff well I'm not really composing because I'm following along the picture but I'm in a part of my life where I'm trying to find out what I really like painting and what kind of pulls me into and makes me feel inspired so yeah this is my journey as I figure out what I like to paint and as always I like to bring you guys along with me I know a couple of videos before I did mention that oh painting mountains has been kind of hard but practicing it and trying out different textures method of applying colors really helped me figure out what I like painting so yeah so now it's been a lot of fun doing them and when it's time to paint nature it's like oh I'm having fun painting both mountains and leaves so this whole painting was just a lot of fun to do As for the grass, I'm not gonna lie, I did kind of get lazy <laughs> when I was doing it, so there's some details but not too much. 
and it's funny even though I chose like a smaller sketchbook I still kind of got lazy adding the details but yeah I kind of just wanted to take a break by choosing a small sketchbook to add my paintings plus it gives me two to three hours to focus on a full painting and then I get to have time to edit and also do my full-time job but hopefully after this sketchbook I get to start painting on bigger sized paper and be more creative in this but for now we'll just be happy with a tiny sketchbook Okay, so for this part, this was the reason I kind of chose the painting because of the shadows that was in the front. I really like the whole mood it kind of sets that painting to be, but I messed it up. I really did. I feel like I put the shadows to be too dark and then I try to go back and correct it. And you know when sometimes you want to correct something and you just make it worse. <laughs> I think that's kind of what happened, but... It's okay, you'll see me go back and forth and in the end it turned out okay. It kind of looked more like pebble stone more than shadows but it's fine. I, I didn't have much time to kind of go back and correct so we'll just be happy with what I have. I, I'm not mad about it. It's, it's just my painting in my sketchbook and yeah this is where I get to practice and see what works for me. <laughs> enjoy watching me paint or painting along with me let me know what you thought about the video in the comments down below don't forget to subscribe and like and i will see you in the next one Allez, bye